In this video I'm going to show you how to track advertising banners when you're advertising uh, your site on another website, somebody else's website, by placing a banner there. Now one of the problems when you place uh, banners on another website is you don't really know how many times it's going to be shown. Um, you can ask the other website but then you have to trust the figure they give you, the figures you give you. Um, or you can use something like Alexa or the other um, services compete to get an estimate of how much traffic the other site's got. But you don't really know uh, because those are only approximate estimates and sometimes they're way off. Um, so what you really want to know is um, how many people saw your banner, exactly who saw it, what their IP addresses were, um, and how many people clicked through and um, what their IP addresses are through. So you get a good idea of exactly how many times your banner is being shown, how many people are clicking. Um, and then you can use that information to develop better banners or which choose which websites to advertise on in the future. Uh, see if you're appealing to the right kind of audience. You could, for example, look up the IP addresses to see whether, which country they're in. All those kinds of things. Um, okay, so what I'm going to use is I'm going to use software called Click Counter Tracker, which you can get from scriptrocket.com to show you how this is done. Now, in my case, I want to advertise a site called bingocardprinter.com, which is where I sell educational bingo card making software. Um, and the banner I've already uploaded, which is shown here, uh, is on my website uploaded. Now normally if I was uh, uh, placing a banner advertising campaign I'd give this URL as the destination URL and I'd either give this image as an email attachment or give the URL of the image um, to the person who's going to host my banner. Now uh, the problem with that as I say is it doesn't allow me to track anything. So using the click counter tracker script I can track everything. I've already installed this script on my own website uh, so what I do is I log in and I'll show you how to create the campaign for tracking the banner. Okay, uh, I get the news here. Now the, I basically need to create two trackers. Um, one is to count the number of uh, appearances of my banner uh, and the second one uh, is to count how many times it's clicked. So the first one I do is create tracker and I'm going to call it, give it an ID number or an ID name. You can choose uh, any combination of letter numbers so I'm going to call it bingo banner one Impressions imp. So, banner one impressions. Right, that's the description. Now, what I'll do is I'll go here and I'll copy the URL where the banner image is. So, I'll highlight that, right click, do copy, go back to this there, uh, and click in there, and do paste. And I've pasted it in there. Now, I've created the tracker for the number of impressions. No, at the moment it shows it's not actually um, got any impressions. One thing is you might it says clicks here. Uh, this is because the tracker is usually for counting clicks and advertising links, but it actually displays in this case for impressions. Uh, but it doesn't matter. If I wanted to give the URL to of the banner to the person who's going to host my banner, I would give them this URL here. Yeah. And that's where the banner image is. I wouldn't use this one because I don't want them to actually click through on the image, I want them to display the image, so I give them that URL, that's the URL of the image. Yeah? Okay, uh, the second thing is I need to create a second um, tracker for uh, the actual click-throughs. So we're going to call it bingo banner one click. So bingo banner one click. Yeah? And now I give the, my own main website URL, which is there. Copy that uh, with the right click and copy, go back, paste it in there, and it's created the tracker for that. And how many times has the banner been clicked? Zero so far. And here's the URL of the um, the tracker for the uh, click through. So this is a destination URL. So the, for the in combination, the combination of the banner and the um, click throughs is. Um, first of all, tracker one gives the destination, the image URL. And, um, uh, the, tra the second tracker is the, the click-through URL that goes inside the anchor link text. So I'll give those to the person who's going to host my banner. Now, obviously, if I give that to somebody, it will take a bit of a while, and I have to run the campaign and see what has really happened. So I've already set two up here. So if I go uh, inside uh, view manage trackers, I've set some up from my previous. Campaign search software sort of thing here. 
uh, the clicks go through to the word search printer site and the impression the number of times the banner has been shown. As I say, it says clicks here, but sometimes it's actually displays in the case of the banner impressions. And you see my banner has been shown 3,005 unique clicks on unique impressions. That's different people have seen it. Uh, 3,323 are the total number of displays. Or um, The reason there's a discrepancy is some people, they might load the page more than once. They might refresh the page or the banner might be shown on more than one page of the website. Um, and the same thing for clicks. Out of those 3,005 people, 104 unique people clicked on it, and 116 um, uh, clicked on it. So some people clicked on it more than once. Now, if I actually go through and I can have a look at this, if I go to the banner impressions here, um, this is a summary page. But if I scroll down here and I click Show Detailed Log, the tracker, it gives me all the IP addresses of who clicked. Uh, what we use here is we use a cookie. Um, to identify it as an additional unique identifier. It doesn't actually matter what this text is. But it, it, if the same one comes up more than once, so for example, if I click on this one, you'll see it comes up more than once, uh, even if they change, uh, they change their IP address, if they perhaps lost their ISP connection, reconnected, the IP address changed, you'd still be able to track it as being the same person. Um, and I can go back, to, go back to this page, and I can see the individual IP addresses here of people who clicked it. Um, in this case, I'm looking at the impressions. So here I see somebody loaded the banner twice. They refreshed the page. They'd already loaded it a little bit earlier. Or the, the, there, yeah. So they're like seven seconds, uh, um, 13, no, it 13.09.32. They loaded it, and they also loaded it at 13.10.25. So it's a duplicate. Okay. Um, if I now go to the clicks page, so I'll go to my other view the manager trackers here. Um, and I'll go to the clicks for that. Um, I've got 116 total clicks, 104 unique clicks. Obviously, if I've got the same person clicking again and again, it'd be a huge discrepancy. But um, And I'd see that in the IP logs as well. So if I go into show detailed log, um, hopefully I shouldn't get too many of these yellow ones. Uh, that would indicate some kind of problem, some kind of fraud or something like that, if I've got too many uh, people repeat clicking on it. But there are some. Some people have clicked on this one. If you look at this IP address, it actually shows up three times there. It's clicked it three times. If I go and have a look on it, I can click on the IP address and see where it shows up. And you see here, the impression tracker says he only sh viewed the page once, but he clicked it three times. Because it's got a click tracker, click tracker, click tracker. So basically that's how you can track uh, banner advertising very simply um, using Click Counter Tracker. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to try out the software, go to scriptrocket.com to install on your web.